guys, what's going on? Welcome to another species showcase video. And in this video, we're taking a look at the Astrolovinator. Sounds like a uh, transformer, not a dinosaur, but it's this guy right here. That's a lot smaller than I originally thought they were going to be. Anyway, this is one of the new species coming to the game in the late Cretaceous pack that launches today. And in this video, we'll go over a little bit of the design, some animations, and then I'll show you the stats in the hatchery but taking a look at the design first off here I don't really know what to think of these guys so I I'm pretty sure these guys are in kind of the raptor ish family correct me if I'm wrong because they have a lot of raptor ish features but I don't know how I feel about the design I feel like these bumpies down the back are something that's like a really I guess really common dinosaur design, I guess. I, I just feel like we have a lot of dinosaurs that have this kind of ridgy back and their patterns are very loud. <laughs> it's a very loud pattern, especially like you can see on this one here, like all the splotches all over that go all the way down the body to the tail. We have this big stripe on the face. I I don't know. I like I like the ones that are a little more subtle like this, the gray. Um, but if we go to ones that almost have like an iridescent look to them or just like really, really bright, I don't know what it is, but they're just they're not my favorite. This one's not too too bad with the blue and the gray. I just think it's it's a lot. Like I said, it's it's very loud, but it's very cool looking nonetheless. I am uh, happy to have this addition to the game, a kind of smaller carnivore. Uh, like I said, when I first had these guys come out of the hatchery, I was expecting something a little bit bigger, just not being familiar with these guys at all. I mean, Astrolovinator, like I hopefully one, I'm pronouncing that right, but two, I've never heard of these guys before. And like I said, they, they sound like they should be a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> not a dinosaur but yeah so that is uh that is these guys walking around let's go ahead and jump into their exit animations or i should say exit animation because i only found one of them and we'll take a look at that right now So I love this exit animation. I think it is so cool the way that that first one kind of just peeks its head out of the door, looks around a little bit, then it runs out, does this little jump. Another one comes up right beside it. They give a little bit of a, I'm not really a roar, but they, <laughs> they growl. The one on the left does a little scritchy scratch and then they kind of just walk off out of frame. I, I love it. I think it's really, really well done. I love when exit animations are dynamic like that and they have a lot going on. The first animation we're gonna see is the eating animation. You can see they're having a little bit of an argument over the pile of meat, but pretty simple standard, nothing super interesting about their eating animation on the uh, the pile of meat there. Just kind of take bites and then uh, walk away. We're gonna see them drinking here. Uh, just again, another simple animation, nothing too spectacular about it. Kind of take a few drinks shake their head, few drinks, look around. Uh, yeah, nothing too super interesting. Moving on to another ambient behavior. This is going to be just a scratching of the head. We see something similar in, oh my gosh, I totally forget, but there's another bigger carnivore that does this as well, kind of scratches its face on the ground, and then it'll also stand up and scratch its face with its right hand uh, while it's standing as well. Like pretty much all of the dinosaurs, they do take little naps, but my favorite part is when they wake up, they give this big yawn, and then they get up and kind of go about their business. I don't know, things like yawning and stuff just make these carnivores look, look cute, in my opinion. Randomly, they will uh, look around and just kind of survey their uh, surroundings. I'll show you that one again since it is rather quick. And then they will also kind of lay down and sniff the air, sniff the ground. These guys actually have quite a few ambient behaviors, which is pretty cool. I like when the dinosaurs do do a lot of stuff. <laughs> I like to see them do a lot of stuff. This is going to be their first, uh, really an only social animation that's not fighting. 
Uh, you can see the one kind of gets almost snuck up on and then he kind of is like, I caught you, you can't sneak up on me and yells at his little friend and then the friend walks away. Here is it in a, uh, a different angle there, but really cool to see carnivores kind of interacting with each other in a non-fighting format. And then speaking of, here is the fighting format. Here is when they get angry with one another. Very simple. Um, we've seen it before. Nothing too exciting or brand new about this. They just kind of circle each other, go after each other, and then uh, you'll see this red one wins the fight, gets all triumphant, roars, and uh, is all proud of himself for winning the fight. My favorite animation, though, is this goat animation. We're going to see it twice more. I think it is so cool how they jump up in the air, kind of like the raptors, but then roll on their backs, and then they actually do the kill with their back feet and then their mouth breaking the neck. They're going to do the exact same thing with the poor little homocephaly. I always feel bad about sacrificing them, but the homocephaly have the exact same animation, and I just think it's really cool. I think it's really, really well done, the animation where they kind of roll on their side and they, they really engage their back feet. Uh, next, I let one out. <laughs> poor people, that guy gets totally hip checked out of the way. He's not even the one that the uh, dinosaur is going after. We'll see it again here in slower motion. Bam! Just blow him out of the way like he's nothing. Uh, the guests getting thrown all over the place are one of the funniest things in Jurassic World Evolution too. But anyway, there is the people kill animation. And the very last thing that I'm going to show you is the Indoraptor. These guys don't like the Indoraptor. Um, I was trying to get them to like pack hunt and stuff like that. They didn't. Um, and then the Indoraptor animation fight is pretty much the same as the Velociraptor. Just get on top and then they have no chance and that's it and lastly let's go ahead and take a look at the hatchery here uh, we have our astra lovinator <laughs> base attributes there you can take a look and see what those are and then we have the needs uh, they like the compies but only because they like to eat compies and then they dislike all of these guys medium carnivores large carnivores small carnivores all carnivores they don't discriminate they hate them all so there you go for our astra lovinator hopefully again i am saying that right if i'm not i'm sure you guys will be correcting me but there you go there is our our little guy let me know uh what you thought what was your favorite animation if you made it this far leaving a like and a comment down below on the video really does help me out and i greatly do appreciate it if you want more jurassic world evolution 2 content go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i will talk at you in the next video bye